He's but statutorily, he can't. He has to leave on October. He has to leave? Yeah. yeah. He's out. We'll get somebody else to do the job. Uh, but uh, I'm hopefully it's done by then. No, you can't. Joining me now is Paul Rykoff, founder of the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America and host of the Independent Americans podcast. Um, Paul, you and I have talked about this offline, so I'm just going to give you the opportunity to respond to the fact that Tommy Tuberville doesn't even know the rules regarding the fact that General Milley cannot be replaced and cannot stay. Joy, to quote another Alabama football person, stupid is as stupid does. And Tommy Tuberville is stupid. I mean, John Stewart's called him. We can all see it. But it's even worse than that. He's reckless. He's irresponsible. He's radical. What he's doing is really a radical political positioning that we've never seen before. He's the equivalent of a political suicide bomber. He's going in and blowing up everything in support of his quest, his personal uh, quest. That is a very radical political quest and grandstanding, trying to make himself this new second coming of the far right within the GOP, which is a very narrow group that I think we need to start to call the Confederate wing of the GOP, because this is the same guy who welcomed white nationalists into the military. He continues to be out of touch with reality. He's, he's opposed by seven former secretaries of defense and people on all sides of every political aisle. So he's very much in an isolated place, and no doubt he is damaging our military. Hundreds of, of, of flag-grade officers are paralyzed. Their families can't move. And our enemies are celebrating. Putin loves this. North Korea loves this. Anyone who wants to do harm to America can only wish for something like this to happen. And I think we got to get to the point now, Joy, where it's about action. A lot of Democrats and Republicans have been talking a great game, but what are they doing about it? They need to call for him to resign. And I think it's important to note, not a single Republican or Democrat has called on him to resign. And he keeps ratcheting up the stakes. The damage keeps getting more vast. People need to start getting more serious. You're absolutely right. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to really quickly play a representative named Michael McCall, because you're an independent. Um, and, you know, but I want to just play a Republican. One of those Republicans you're talking about that's been uh, going at him. Take a listen. This is paralyzing the Department of Defense. You know, the idea that one man in the Senate can hold this up for months. I understand maybe promotions, but nominations is paralyzing the Department of Defense. I think that is a, a national security problem and a national security issue. Now, he can't do anything about it. He's in the House. But just CNN reported that if they were to process each individual person who is due for a promotion individually, it would take the Senate approximately 689 hours and 20 minutes of floor consideration, plus two days of session at the start of the process for cloture um, for all 273 nominations. This represents approximately 30 days and 17 hours to process all of the people who deserve promotions. So that is the, the amount of time it would take to do it if they did it one at a time. But I would like for you to talk about what individual service members, because people are just going to leave, right? Because what are how is this impacting individual men and women in the military? Profoundly. Over 90% of commands are now impacted because people are on hold. They don't know what country they're going to live in. They don't know where their families are going to live. You know, three, you noted three uh, senior positions in the Pentagon are right now open, so that means people have to do two, two jobs. And at the end of the month, we won't have a confirmed chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. That is a very big deal. Tommy Tuberville, you know, claims to know a lot about football fields. He knows nothing about battlefields. He's opposed to everybody who's ever worn the uniform with any kind of stature or standing. And he also apparently doesn't understand how the Senate works. This can all go away if he backs down. But he's actually loving this. He loves the attention. He loves the support from Trump and other people that are in the more radical wing of the GOP. And he's acting like he's the second coming of Robert E. Lee. I mean, what he's trying to do here is not just undermine our military. He's trying to drag us back to another time. He doesn't understand the military of 2023. He sounds like he's trying to make the military of 1853. He sounds like he's trying to create the Confederate army Army, rather than the American Army of 2023. That's why this is much bigger than just being about our military. It's about his radical political agenda that he's trying to jam down our Pentagon. Mitch McConnell has, you know, expressed some discomfort with this and, and unhappiness with it. What do you make of the fact that he hasn't actually done anything? Because he seems to be the one person who might have the power and authority to stop Tuberville, but he doesn't seem to be willing to do it. It's cowardice. 
and it's undermining our military, our national security every single day. You mentioned I'm an independent. You know, 49 percent of the country is independent. This is the kind of stuff that drives people out of the Republican Party, especially veterans, especially people in the active duty, especially people who care about national security. This is bad for their politics, and I think it's starting to, to, to ratchet up against them. The question is, can the Democrats respond? Can they actually hold him accountable? Can they actually drive him out? Because if you're holding your breath for the Republicans to do it, it's not going to happen. And in the meantime, our troops are caught in the crossfire. And I hope that it doesn't drive people out of the military because there's already a recruitment problem and it can only get worse from here. Uh, I have been obsessed with getting you on to talk about this because this story drives me absolutely mad. I have to have you come back on as we continue to follow this story. Paul Rykoff, thank you, man. Appreciate Thanks, you. Appreciate All you. All right.